Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download real museum artifacts as 3D files and turn them into STL files that you can actually print at home. So, let's get started. Most people think that museums hide their artifacts behind locked glass only for people in person to see. But that's not true. Many museums 3D scan their artifacts and put them online for people to view and download. Museums like the Smithsonian and British Museum are constantly scanning objects every day and uploading them to their website so you can download them at home and then 3D print them. And I'm going to show you guys just how to do that. So without any more stalling, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right guys, so I have um, assembled a list of five resources that we can use that have these files on it. So I'm gonna leave this link in the description, but we, what we can do first is go over to the Smithsonian's collection simply by copying and pasting that link I have in the description. And once this loads, we'll come here to Smithsonian's 3D digitization page and we'll see all their models that they uploaded. So if we wanted a George Washington bust, we could go right there. If we wanted a, a model of this woolly mammoth, we could come here and download that. Hey guys, real quick, if you're watching this video, you probably do a lot of 3D printing. If that's you, I'd greatly consider Coax 3D filament. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean and stays consistent spool after spool. They even offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so there's zero risk. So use Austin's Lab for 10% off Coax 3D filament. But now, back to the video. But just to show you guys, I'm going to end up using this model right here. And you can download it right here and it asks you what kind of download you want. So we're going to do it in an object and then up here you'll see that it will download as a zip. Then we can come to our downloads. I'll unzip that. And then here's what it looks like. And then here is our object file right there. So then we can do object to STL and use this converter right here, image to stl.com find our woolly mammoth object right there convert it to STL there is that woolly mammoth and then we can download it and then we can go to our downloads and open this thing up in our slicer and now we can see that this was once an exhibit at the Smithsonian, a centerpiece, this woolly mammoth um, that maybe we never be able to get a chance to see. We can turn this into a STL and 3D print it so we can look at it on our desk if we so choose. So once this loads, we'll go ahead and look at it and I'll show you guys that, oh, it loaded already. So you can see that it, went in super super small um, so right there I scale it to millimeters and that looks a lot better we'll rotate her oh I open up three of them And there you have it. There's a 3D printable woolly mammoth skeleton straight from the Smithsonian's website made into an SDL file. So no matter what kind of file you guys download, don't worry because we will be able to convert whatever kind of file you have into an STL by simply just searching object type, so STL or even a dot blend to STL and it will come up from this image to STL site right here. Any kind of file type, it'll convert it into an STL for you. But let's move on and go to a different site. So there's this scan the world, my mini factory. And on here, there is a whole 
bunch of artifacts as well. Um, so you can search up here what you want to look for. So I'm gonna look for, for uh, um, some weapons and you can see some arrowheads upload some axes and other things so if you wanted to 3d print a prop from the middle ages and find some bronze dagger and spearhead like right here and download it you could do so download that file and we can see that one's already an STL so when we open up that in our slicer it will already be ready to print we don't need to convert it to any kind of file type or to convert it to an STL because it is already an STL ready for 3d printing so this website knows that these people are probably going to be printing these files so there is that dagger and that arrowhead ready to print if we so choose so what other resources do I have is another my mini factory collection but this one is of the um, British Museum so my mini factory also has this Smithsonian in there for you to download stuff but we're gonna go to the British Museum's page and we'll see all the models that are in the British Museum so again we can just click whatever one we want if we want this Alexander the Great model we could click on it and we come down here and download it eventually somehow oh right here um, click download right here and we can download that model of Franz Leher and then once downloaded obviously we can turn that into an STL if it's not or if it is we can open up and print it so with all that being said guys I think you get the idea one more time here is all of those links I have on my little page I made for you guys just copy and paste any one of these links and paste it into your browser and you'll find a whole collection of ready to print object or STL files that you can download and then convert into an STL or just print right from there. I think this is a super cool resource that a ton of museums have, so definitely take advantage of it and see what cool things you can print out. But with all that being said, guys, that is it for this video. Just want to make a quick video showing you guys how to do this because I came across this pretty recently and thought it was super cool that you could just download models that are in museums. So I thought I could share it with you guys and a couple of you guys would learn something from it and hopefully do this and print off some cool things from museums. So if you print off something from a museum, comment it down below what you print off. And if you guys like this video and want to see some other videos from me, then check out this video somewhere here where I'll show you guys how to turn any logo into an STL file for 3D printing. But again, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.